Welcome to the, what was that? Welcome to the writer's life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells. Not that they're good right now because I'm fishing, caught some fish. And uh, of uh, my particular writer's life. And please, before I say anything, um, or go on my spiel, um, subscribe to the channel and uh, like and smash and all that sort of stuff. We're up to, well, we're, we're closing in on 400 subscribers. And I know that compared to a lot of blogs that, or a lot of uh, channels, that's not a lot, but it's a good start, right? Everything starts with a seedling and then it, it buds. It buds. Anyway, so while I've been fishing here, catching nothing, well, no, I caught a few, but I was just thinking about, um, do you believe in your work? I know I do. Um, I show my work to very few people. I show it to my editor, and that's about it. Um, and actually, that was advice I got from my very first editor at Delacorte. Was like, he's like, don't show your work to anybody. Just show it to your editor and go from there. And or agent. I show it to my agent as well. Um, but that's about it. Um, you know, occasionally I would let one of my exes read a story or something like that just just to get a take. But I don't even do that anymore. Because I, I don't know. I'm like a single guy. But um, for the most part, it's a secret. Um, but I was also just recalling how, like, I had a meeting, or it was actually signed by uh, the William Morris Agency a bunch of years ago, like 2001, for Moonlight Falls, and, uh, um, the big agent there was this woman, Suzanne Gluck, and, uh, she was supposed to be, like, the best agent in, not the world, but, like, the galaxy, and, like, she had a meeting with me, and she just read every page while I sat in front of her desk like all hung over and stuff and I was like what is this anyway so uh, she couldn't get sold and so from that moment on she was just like um, I, you know like she and her associate was a decent guy but like they, they, they were like you know you're a good writer but we can't help you anymore right okay so I was like you know what you I know I'm a great writer, and that I'm going to sell this book. And so eventually I sold Moonlight Falls. I think it's good. I just signed a contract, and we're on to we're like our third publisher for that book, and it's sold I don't know how many thousands of copies. So anyway, I believed in it. I'm like, this is a, a great book, and, and you're the one who couldn't sell it. That's on you. Um, no matter what happens with a project, um, if you believe in it, get it out there one way or the other. Get it sold. Or if you don't want to sell it, start your own company and publish it independently. Um, I guarantee you, it'll find its audience eventually. All right? I'm going to go catch some more fish. All right. Ciao, ciao.